What you know about Fee? She's a boss. What you say about Fee? She's a boss. Birthing bosses, birthing bosses. She's birthing bosses, birthing bosses. What you know about Fee? She's a boss. What you say about Fee? She's a boss. Birthing bosses, she's birthing bosses, birthing bosses, birthing bosses. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am who? Boss Lady Fee. Yes, guys. I hope you're having an amazing Tuesday, guys. I'm having a great, great Tuesday. I just got my day. Well, not just got my day started, but I um got my shower, got my clothes on, guys, and just took some of my baskets out to the trailer trying to keep it kind of clear in here in my house so that I don't have so many baskets, even though it's time to hit the streets. I was like, I'm still going to take my baskets out um, to the trailer, okay? And it is what it is. Because normally, like a couple of days before the holidays, I'll just continue stacking stuff in the house. But I'm like, look, my living room is clean. I'm going to keep it clean. I'm not going to start piling um, baskets in my living room. The only thing that's in my living rooms are the baskets that people have custom ordered and that they have to pick up. But the baskets that I'm taking out on the streets, they are in the trailer. So that's what I'm up to today. Um, I'm actually going to be doing, working on some, um, adult baskets, um, older teenage baskets. And I will show you guys those. Um, I've done a few, um, like infant toddler baskets and I'm going to be working on some more. So I will bring you guys along on that journey with me. I've been preaching. I've been teaching. I've been saying since day one, make sure you have men, women, children, um, baskets children and infants um while you're out on the streets guys okay easter is not just for one um group age group it may was at some point viewed as that but times have changed and people have changed so you can go out there with just kids baskets if you want but if you really out here in these streets for real and you really a hustler out here and you really got customers trust you me people will come up and ask you for a basket for their mom for their aunt for their grandma, they'll come up and ask you for a basket for a little baby. I'm telling you what I know. I've been doing it for 25 years. Not that I know it all, but baby, what I know, I know, okay? And one thing I know for sure, and one thing I stand 10 toes down on, I know how to get money, and I know how to serve my customers on the streets. So the information that I give you guys is to help um, propel your business to the next level to get you from mediocrity into a high place, okay? So make sure you take these things into consideration. I know it's late into the game. So if you do not have the time to kind of pull together the tips and the nuggets that I give you, then apply them to your next holiday, okay? Even with Mother's Day coming. I'm not telling you to go out there with Mother's Day baskets and 25 kids baskets, but I am telling you that people will stop when they see you to ask you, um, do you have anything for a child's birthday? Do you have anything for graduation? Keep in mind, graduation is on the way. All of these holidays, all of these functions are running neck and neck. So make sure that you are a gift basket designer with solutions. You don't want to be the gift basket designer to send people down the street to another vendor or send them down the street to Dollar Tree, um, Dollar General, where have you. And then there, they're going to see most of the stuff that you might have in your basket came from there. You don't want to do that. You want to eliminate the problems and you want to be a solution, whether that be getting balloons, whether that be getting cards, whatever there may be. Some of you are in, in beginning stages, so you are not able to um, function that way. But the information that I give you is goals or goals that you can set for um, soon coming times. Okay. So maybe you're just getting started out in your business. I wouldn't expect you to have all of that, but I want to tell you guys, if you are still using plastic table covers, go ahead and invest. When you make money it's to save and it's also, um, to, you know, treat yourself and pay yourself and all of that. But you also want to invest so that each holiday, your business, your presentation will get better and better each time. Okay. So keep that in mind while you are designing keep that in mind while you are setting up 
get you some regular tablecloths. Go to Amazon, eBay, Timu, get you some tablecloths that you will be able to use um, so that you're not using plastic tablecloths. Okay, y'all, so I had to cut the video, but yes, make sure you have your tablecloths. Make sure um, you have your signage if you um, have the ability to get some. And if you don't, um, you know, for Easter, make sure that you're working towards that for Mother's Day. Presentation sales, okay? Presentation is always going to be a key factor in your business, whatever type of business, whether you bake cakes, whether you make t-shirts, whether you um, design logos, whatever it is, presentation is always going to be the foremost important thing um, when it comes to selling. It will make or break your sales, okay? Um, if you have two vendors sitting side by side, and one of the vendors, you know, have plastic tablecloths. I'm not saying that you're not going to sell because you got plastic tablecloths, baby. Trust me. I've sold with plastic tablecloths, okay? But we are talking about elevating. We're talking about bossing up, okay? It's okay to do these things, but when it comes to a point where you are able to buy them, and get this, you're not going to always be able to buy and do stuff without a strain or a struggle, okay? Anything worth having, Everything, anything worth um, working towards, is it, it's, it's going to be a pressure sometimes. It's going to be a strain. It's going to be a struggle, okay? It's called investments. And investments are, all, are not always an easy thing to um, accomplish. It's not always an easy thing to acquire. Um, but you have to invest in yourself, which is also calling, causing you to invest in your business, which is causing you to invest in your future, okay? Because your business is your future. It should be anyway. Um, your business should be your future. So you want to make sure that you are investing your money. Um, tax time just came by and I ain't trying to count nobody's money because I ain't even filed my taxes and, you know, I ain't going to get all into that. But anyway, um, a lot of people have gotten tax money. These are the times when you need to invest in... Um, you know, these type of things that I'm talking about, not waiting until all your money is gone and then saying you need a sign or saying you need a tablecloth and, you know, you got to pay your light bill and, you know, your light bill over, you know, weighs presidency over buying a tablecloth. But during the times when you have surplus of money after Valentine's Day, those are the times when you want to go buy your signs, buy your banners. Um, if you have signs and banners, then you know, elevate to the next level. And that's what I need to do is elevate to the next level. Like I have the money. Now I need to take the time. I've had the money. I need to take the time um, to elevate to the next level. Okay. Like my tablecloth runner that has my name on it. Now it's time for me to advance to another kind. Advance. Okay. I've had that one for some time. The letters are somewhat coming off. It's time to elevate and take it to the next level. That's what business is about. That's what life is about, advancing and growing. You should see yourself further along this year than you were last year. And I can say honestly, myself, with analyzing and um, critiquing my own business, I do see it in a greater place than I did last year. For one, I created more gifts this year for Valentine's Day than I did last year. Not only did I do that, I had two locations this year, which I've had two, three locations at one point in years past. But last year, I only had one location, but this year I had two. So I elevated in that. Also, um, my amazing boss buddy, Queendom Baskets, and you guys reach out to her. Um, I think it's queendombaskets.com. I think, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but if somebody needs that information, um, put it in the comments and I, you know, may take me a couple of days, but I'll try to get that information to you. Um, but she did get me some labels. So I'm able to use labels on my, um, not labels, but price tags. Okay. Which also has my business name and all of that up there. So I've elevated in that area. Okay. My presentation looks more professional. Okay. Um, I've had labels in the past, but they, they weren't really what I wanted. I didn't really like them. So, um, I can just look back this year and see where my business has elevated from last year. So I'm grateful to say that I'm not in the same place that I was last year, because if you are where you were last year, then you need to do some revamping. 
You need to do some analyzing and you need to do some strategizing and planning um, to figure out what it is you can do to advance um, to the next. If you have not gotten an EIN number, and I'm and I'm, I'm I'm not a teacher of any of that, so please don't ask me questions about that. Those are things that you need to address with your secretary of state, with your city, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I, I'm not into all of that, all right? But I will tell you, if you haven't gotten your EIN, your tax number, all of that stuff, that's stuff to be working towards, things to be doing. If you haven't been keeping up with your receipts, keep up with your receipts. If you didn't do it last year, do it this year, okay? Don't wait till January the 1st. Go ahead and start today keeping up with those things. Put a folder in your car. Put a, um, you know, a little um, plastic, those little plastic uh, file folders. Put those in your car. Throw your receipts in there, you know, um, and keep up with them. Keep up with what you're spending. Keep up with what you're making. Whatever you didn't do last year or whatever you didn't do last season, last Valentine's or this Valentine's, then let's see what we can do better for um, this year coming up. For those of you that um, accept Cash App, get you a Cash App sign. Let me show y'all the one I got and see, I need to get another one. I need to advance because... This cash app sign is for my regular cash app. And I just opened up a cash app to link to my business. Okay. Because I've been letting my cash apps, which are a whole lot. I've been letting thousands of dollars go into my regular account. And that's a no, no. I need that money. Although I will transfer it to my business. I need it to go directly to my business okay so i don't need that money going to my personal account but this is what i did i got this um well, i think jaquan my assistant got this from the dollar tree this little plastic stand um we printed this out how they did it i don't know it's simple i do know that just research guys um and print this out and um when your people come up what's your cash app um, can you spell it? We don't have time for that. Just go scan this right here, okay? Scan this and pay, all right? Scan, pay, and go. Scan, pay, and go. And so just make sure you're um, advancing in certain areas. Just little small things can help make your business professional, okay? Get you a t-shirt. Those of you that have a Cricut or have the ability to buy you a shirt, get your shirt with your business name on it. Get your apron. Buy you a boss buddy apron, okay? I will have those back in stock um, whenever people order them. I'll have them in stock, okay? But, um, yeah, get you an apron with your business name or get you a boss buddy because we're boss buddies. That's what my community is called. For those of you that are new, because I know some of y'all be like, what the heck is a boss buddy? That's what Boss Lady Feeds community is called, boss buddies, all right? Y'all are bosses and y'all are my buddies. So, that's what we are called. So, I do have aprons when I go out. I put um I put on my apron sometime. My team will put on their apron. You know, whatever you can to brand your business so that people know that it's you. Okay. They know that it's you. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off this video. We will do some videos designing a little bit later on. Hopefully I can spit out two or three videos today. I have Gavin right now and he takes over my workspace, y'all. So um I'm letting him have his way right now. But I'm going to do some designing a little bit later on, and I'll bring you guys along on that journey with me. But I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. To the next video. Bye, y'all.